What's up everyone? Welcome back to One Strange Adventure and welcome to the next video. We've been on the hunt for the perfect RV for our family. And I think we found it. talk a little bit about um, COVID and the uh, Tampa RV show, uh, some of the precautions that they took. I will say while we were there, I felt pretty safe about the environment. They, they did a good job of keeping people separated, yes. keeping people out of the RVs um, when you were in there for the most part. <laughs> they tried. <laughs> they tried. And we were all on, uh, we went on, um, you know, not as busy days. We didn't go Saturday. Yeah, we didn't um, go Saturday and we didn't go, get to go Sunday because yeah. um, that was when we were leaving um, but we did go Wednesday Thursday and and part of the day on Friday, Friday. yep they had hand sanitizer in pretty much every, every RV Every RV had bottles of hand sanitizer um, handing out mask everywhere um, we got a grand design mask hey it's merch um, and then we also uh, there there were these little golf carts that looked like fire trucks yeah and... it's really cute it's like a doggy wash station um, yeah but it was hand sanitizer and soap instead yeah so that that was pretty cool they they i think they did a, a good job of trying to uh make it as safe as possible um you know while yeah. you're walking around and tr still being able to enjoy so they were trying to limit the RVs. they were trying to limit three people or a family in an rv so if you're going with a group of people then the whole group could go in um right. Especially like the class A's and super C's and stuff. They were yep. doing a really good job at limiting those The ones that had more than one door was a little harder because you know people come in multiple directions, right? Um, but you know you go in you see people in there you come back out and, and yeah, Just wait, wait your, your turn. turn. <laughs> so it wasn't that bad. No, it was pretty good So I just wanted to give you a quick note on that where um, you know while we're traveling We're definitely following all local and state guidelines um, You know and trying to stay on top of that as well Thank you so much for stopping by to Happy Place Diaries and our epic RV adventure. It was awesome meeting you guys, and I hope we get to meet again someday. So thanks so much for stopping by and saying hi. All right, before we uh, start talking about RVs, I want to say uh, we have been in the 311 uh, for a while now. And I think there's there's just some things that we have found that are probably like deal breakers for our next RV. One is we need a washer and dryer. I, I, I really want to be able to do my laundry whenever I want. Yeah, I mean, it's not a necessity to have a washer and dryer, but taking the the bags and bags of clothes to to a laundromat and the sheets and the comforter can be a little daunting yeah. our next rv will be a full profile which means it makes it a little bit wider it's taller towards the back it just has a straight roof it just makes it feel a little bit bigger uh if we're going to be living in a small place we're going to get as big of a small place as we possibly can <laughs> uh, we got to uh, go into a bunch of different rvs and class A's and super C's. She loves the super C. I love a super C. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we will not be getting a super C because that thing costs twice as much as our house did. Um, but. Although. We can rule that one out, uh, but it, it is very pretty. <laughs> well, and they don't really have space for the kids in a super C. Yeah. So. You just got bunks in a hallway from yeah. the one so we they saw. Don't, they, don't, we, they wouldn't have any privacy in there. So that might be something we can look into when it's just the two of us. Yep. Um, we, we looked at Keystone, we looked at the, the Fusions, mm -hmm. uh, we looked into the new Alliances, which we, we the Alliance toy haulers were pretty. Okay, so this is our first time in an Alliance, and uh, it's pretty awesome. I really like this one. In fact, they, they're claiming that they have the first uh, WeatherTech, or the weatherproof patio doors, and it's got a side patio. Um, it's also running on solar and it has a 12 volt refrigerator 
So, and he said that thing is is cold within hours. I gotta say, I'm pretty I'm pretty impressed with. This is the first alliance that we walked in, and I'm pretty impressed. Um, the one thing I'll say is they do use the frame windows and not the frameless, but they they claim that it's better uh, to keep water out. And this one has a bath and a half, and again the two patios. I'm in the master suite right now. This thing is amazing. Um, yeah, I really like this RV. Full house, uh, mobile suites, um, beacon, like you name it. I think we walked in it. The Durango. The Durango. Actually, you know what? The Durango has a very interesting concept um, with a back patio, but it's not a toy hauler. Nope. So it actually has a door going out the back uh, to a fold down patio. Which was pretty awesome. Like you're sitting in two recliners and they swivel and there's just a door. I was like, that would be amazing. Yes. Uh, if we could have that as an option on a grand design or... or Fusion or... Yeah, whatever. Uh, and it not be a toy hauler and still get the patio, that would be awesome. Especially... And that one was a mid bunk. So it's uh, something that, you know, that's the type of design that we're looking at as a family. Yep. Uh, so that that was very appealing. Um, the other thing I'll say is we did we did explore Grand Design. And of course, we went in the uh, the Momentum 397 and the new uh, mid bunk. So we found Grand Design and we are currently in the Momentum. 397. Yes. What do you think of it? I love it. I it's, love the space. I love the, the height of the ceiling. Yeah. Um, the bed is really low. I like it. Well, we would put a thicker mattress on yeah, it. Yeah, so. we'd have to have a thicker mattress because this one is not comfortable. Um, but we uh, we really like this model. It's a very similar living space to ours. Yeah, the kitchen and... and just bigger. Just bigger. Yeah. Um, which is really nice. I like it. Yeah. I do too. Yeah. All right, well, the search continues. What was your favorite? I like the solitaire. I want the momentum. As one for the family or one for just me? <laughs> Well, if it was just us, we'd have the Solitude 390RK. Yes, that's the rear kitchen. It's so nice. That thing is amazing. <laughs> I love, so I love to bake and cook and grill. And, you yeah, know, that, that big kitchen. in the kitchen. And that kitchen is just amazing. So yep. if, you like, if you like a kitchen, a good size kitchen, look at that one. That's right. Um, but for us, I think, like, we're probably narrowing it down to two or three models. Yeah. Um, you know, so we're still looking... While we said we are, we went to the RV show to uh, explore different RVs and figure out what we would really like. Potentially um, buy one. We were thinking about buying one while we were there because the the Bradley's prices are less than what they would be at different at the dealers. dealerships because the companies are paying for the freight for those RVs to be there, so you don't have to pay that freight charge is what they were saying right but, um they didn't have two of the ones we were interested in looking at we were really disappointed grand design did not bring the 399 uh the momentum 399 or the 395 m which is the one with the l couch yep. um in the living area so we were we were kind of disappointed about, about that i really wanted to see yeah, the 399 said they said that they're going faster than they can make them so there isn't any on any of the dealership lots if if we go with a toy hauler the kids would most likely have the garage as their bedroom, which means we would lose that back patio. So a side patio is very appealing to us as well. Okay. Um, but the 397 offers the east-west bed with the washer and dryer in the, the Nose. master suite. Yeah. Uh, so that's very appealing to us as well. Yeah. <laughs> Grand Design, if anybody from Grand Design is watching, can I please get the bedroom of the 397 with the rest of the 399? Please. <laughs> I will order it today. <laughs> All right, well, uh, we potentially found the perfect RV for us, but we're not quite ready to uh, disclose which one we what we really want. Um, but th I think that will be pretty soon. Yeah. Uh, so just a little bit more research. Yep. Hope you liked the video. I hope you enjoyed um, our journey through the uh, Tampa RV show. It was amazing. If you get a chance, 
check it out. Like yeah. definitely go. Um, you know, if tons you feel of, safe and comfortable with it. Tons of great deals on RVs and merchandise. Like yeah. all your different things that you could use in an RV are there yeah. as well. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you really like the video, make sure you subscribe. Ring the bell so you get notified when we release our next video. And until the next strange adventure, keep making your own. <laughs>